today's video, I'm going to talk about some 2021 purchases. This may be part one of part two. I'm going to show you some things that I purchased last year that I really love. So we already in one of the prior videos talked about this Judith Libra purse. So I'm not going to talk about it, spend too much time with it. I did purchase it from a reseller website. So don't feel like you have to purchase it from um, retail stores. You actually could find really good um, deals on third party reseller sites. This was actually a pre-loved item. It wasn't new when I purchased it, but of course I made sure that it was in new condition. In one of my subsequent videos, I will tell you though that you have to sometimes be a little bit careful. If the deal seems too good to be true, then sometimes it might be, but more on that later in another video, so keep watching. Again, this is by Judith Lieber. I love her workmanship. This is a snakeskin bag. I um, talked about it a little bit more in my prior video, so I'm not going to say more about it other than it is one of the items that I purchased last year that I really love. Okay, this next item is a dolling. I know it's so small and cute. It's power, I think it's called Varsity Crystals. It's a lipstick case and it has a mirror. My lipstick looks like, like it's on. Oh, actually, this is really good. Yeah, I had I had lipstick on my teeth. Has that happened to you before, ladies or gents, if you guys wear lipstick? Anyway, I had lipstick on my teeth, and I was able to see that by looking at this um, mirror. So it's actually a really cute um, lipstick case for Varsity Crystals. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but I bought it because it's a work of art. It was new. I bought it from a third-party reseller site or a pre-loved site, also by Judith Lieber. Lots of her things are crystals, as is this. The bag I know is, is you know, it was um, snake skin, but this is crystals, like I said, like lots of her things are. And I'm just going to make sure again that my, okay, I'm going to, hopefully I don't have this lipstick problem the entire video, but I'll check back ever so often because that's what happens. Sometimes we, our lipstick goes on our teeth and that's a problem. So this is real candid. You're going to get candid, um, <laughs> probably bloopers on this channel. I'm gonna be real authentic with you guys. So, okay. Okay, I'm gonna pause because this is gonna be a problem. My lipstick is by, um, I think it's Tom Ford. I'll put the, the I'll, I'll describe it below. But anyway. Okay, so moving on to the next. The other item that I purchased that I love, again from another one of those reseller websites, is a necklace by Stella and Dot. I think it's the Lady Boss necklace. I have a similar one on my website. Um, my website is tpfafh.com. Um, so if you're interested, um, head over to the website. I love this necklace. I'll style it. I haven't worn it yet. It's still in its original packaging. This was actually new when I bought it. Um, I will probably style this in one of the upcoming videos, but it's actually something that I love. My ears aren't pierced, but I do like ever so often I wear a little bit of jewelry. So anyway, um, love this necklace. And I'll come a little bit closer so that you can see. I think it's the Lady Boss necklace. You can see that. I love it. It's, um, again, so far, sea crystals. It has um, some gold detailing. Lady Boss, you know. Like, I'm going to eventually be a Lady Boss. Well, I'm a Lady Boss now, but I hope to be more of a Lady Boss as time progresses. So, again, by Stella and Dot. And, actually, the, I have a little bit of arm candy on. These are also by Stella and Dot. This is an elastic um, bracelet and then another cute bracelet or whatever, hand chain, also by Stella and Dot. So one of the shoes that I purchased last year that I really, I think it was actually in 2021, but it might have been 2020, I haven't worn them yet, are these booties, guys. Aren't these a beauty? I love these shoes. You can see they're unworn. I happen upon the mall. Like I truly wasn't trying to look for booties, but but when I go to the mall, I just go because you know, I'm, you know, I just want to get out. It's it's we're still in sort of COVID times, and I was tired of being in the house. I wanted to get out, so I went to the mall. I think I was going to another store. Walked by um, White House Rock Market. Oh, even if I was going to White House Rock Market intentionally, I wasn't going to look for shoes. I don't tend to buy shoes from White House Rock Market. I buy maybe the occasional clothes. Back in the day, I used to buy a lot of clothes from White House Black Market. 
I think a lot of my church clothes were black and white until one of my cousins slash daughter told me, Sharian, you've been wearing too much black and white. So anyway, um, they do do color from time to time, but I had a lot of black and white. So in the past, I tend to buy even now more so clothes from them when I do buy clothes. Sometimes jewelry, um, but really, I don't think I've ever bought shoes from them before, if I, or if I have, it's been just once or twice. So what drew me to the shoes is, of course, the bling. In a later video, I'm going to style them. I have not worn them yet. You can see the sole is still unworn. I believe this is velvet. I just felt like they made a statement, and so I was actually putting this up for the right time to wear it. It's not an everyday shoe. I probably won't wear this to work. Actually, if I'm a little bit daring, I would wear it to work, but I wouldn't wear it to work every day. It will be pushing the envelope a little bit for work. Not that it would be a problem, but I'll be super dressy. And I'm already on the very dressy side when I do go to work, so this would be just like all the more dressy. I would probably wear these out with the girls, out on the date night with hubby. I just wear it out. Um, but yeah, not necessarily every day. So love these booties by White House Black Market. Unfortunately, they're no longer available on the website. But if I see them on another reseller site, I'll link to them in the description box below. So, um, they're size 10, that's my size. Except if it's a European brand, my size will be a little bit bigger. Alright, so some handbags that I purchased. I actually was at a flea market. Don't sleep on flea markets in your area. You could find some really good items there. I was at a flea market um, in Maryland, actually. And I found this bag. I thought it was quite cute. Um, it's, I think it's an antique. My phone, I know I'm not even going to try it. I know my phone can't fit in here. And I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Um, it, it won't fit in here, but maybe your phone might. But it's actually cute. I will put it on so you can see. Oh, it's getting caught in my hair. You can see here. It's cute. I like it. I love beaded bags. You'll see that a few of the bags that I purchased are also beaded bags. Um, I don't know who the brand is by. The hardware looks like it's um, silver. It's actually pretty weighty for being a small bag. It says by it's it's by Larigal, Larigale maybe. Um, a cute bag. It has um, it feels like a satin silver grayish looking inside. It has a little pocket compartment so you could put like lipstick or a card or something. Could fit keys, makeup, compact, lipstick, chapstick, whatever. It's actually, again, really small, really cute. Um, you could, you know, wear it again. Not an everyday. Wear it out to dinner. Actually, what I just thought of you could do too is you could rope it um, and maybe wear it instead of like as a shoulder bag. You could, you know, probably wear it as a clutch maybe. Okay, I don't think I kind of got that quite right. But anyway. It's a cute bag. Um, I love the beaded. I love beaded bags. Another beaded bag that I bought was by, I think the brand is Mary Frances. I love this bag. I have lots of beaded bags. So this one could be worn as a crossbody bag like this here. I love the eye detail. You can see, I'll come a little bit closer so that you can see the detail. So the thing that's interesting about this bag is that you could wear it vertically or you could remove the strap that's here on the one side and um, wear it horizontally. So you can wear it horizontally. So a really cute bag. I have not used it as I haven't worn it out as yet, but um, I plan to do so in the future. I love what drew my attention to it is the eye detail on it. And I think I'll say a little bit more if I can in the description box below about Mary Frances. The bags are actually quite unique. Um, I think I got this one on Amazon, so it should still be available. So again, a cute bag I get that you could wear vertically or you could wear it horizontally. So let me talk about this. So I'm going to get back to two of the other handbags I have here. So, I, a girlfriend introduced me to this brand. It's um, European Spa Source. So, for those of you who do showers more than baths, this is something that I would suggest. 
So it is, they're like aro, they're aro, aroma, aromatherapy. Okay, I'll say that again. Aromatherapy. It's a luxury, luxury travel kit. They're like sprays. You could spray them in the shower when you're taking showers. Honestly, even if you're taking baths, I think you could use them. This one is a travel kit. It's six different fragrances. Eucalyptus, eucalyptus lemongrass, eucalyptus lavender blend, uh, eucalyptus jasmine blend, eucalyptus wood smoke and leather, and sleep well lavender. Um, so, you know, just obviously hop in a shower or a tub and spray it like so. Oh, guys, I'm transported. This I'm going to go to sleep now. It smells so good. So, honestly, you should check them out. I will put a link to the website in the description box below. It should still be available. Um, I like this. I haven't used any of the other fragrances yet. I'll show you the one that I use in a second. But the thing I like about this is if you're traveling and you know you don't want to take, if you're doing a carry-on, you don't want to take um, the, the bigger bottle, which I'll show you in a second. Each one of these bottles is um, 0.5 ounces, so it'll fit in your carry-on if you don't want to take a check bag. Um, and it's, it's an array of fragrances, so you could mix it up. You could, you know, put one as a, stock, in a, as a stocking stuffer in the, you know, during the holidays if you want. I don't remember what the price was for this, but what drew me to it was the fact that it had several different fragrances and, you know, I couldn't choose one. So I was like, okay, I'll get all. And then this way you could try them out. If you like one, then you probably could repurchase it in a bigger size. So again, the brand is European Spa Source. For those of you ladies and gents who love to go to the spa, this gives you like a spa-like experience in your home. Um, another one of my girlfriends, she is big on self-care. If she sees this, she'll know exactly who I'm talking about. So this is the kind of thing that she'll probably also like use. You could probably find cheaper brands, different brands that are a lower price point. But if you want like the more luxury feel, um, also at the luxury price tag, this is one that you could check out. So check them out, European Spa Source. But this one is what I've been using. And the fragrance is Lavender and Eucalyptus. If you want like that minty um, scent, it um, this is this definitely does that. I'll spray this again too. Okay, guys, it smells so good. Trust me. Um, it says just a few sprays provides a relaxing aromatherapy experience that will clear the mind and create a refreshing spa environment. So if you are mindful of COVID and you know you not you don't want to go to the spa right now and you want to create a spa like experience in your home. If you want to take a shower, you have to get up, you have to go to work, whether or not you're going in the office or you're working from home, this is definitely something that you could check out. You will get that spa-like experience. You know you walk into a spa and it just smells like a spa? Well, hey, you could do that at home with this shower, shower spa mix. Again, this brand, this fragrance, um, this scent is lavender and eucalyptus. You can see this one is a little bit bigger. It's an eight ounce. So not something that you should put in your ch in your carry-on because TSA will take this and you won't be happy because it, it costs more than $10. So you would not want this to be confiscated. Um, if you want to take this, um, this fragrance with you, I think it comes in one of the smaller travel sizes as well. So again, check it out. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you that I purchased last year in this video I think I'm going to have a subsequent video with additional, a few other additional purchases that I made. In 2021, I was, in 2020, I was actually really good. Even before COVID, I had planned to be a little bit better. I had planned to be a little bit more intentional in my shopping because I have, I created a boutique, TPS Fash, because I have purchased a whole lot of things over the years and I needed to spread the love by selling them to others. And so check out the website, shameless plug, I know tpsfash.com so I've purchased a little bit less over the last few years but you know clearly I'm still doing a little bit of shopping the last item that I want to show you in this video I think I purchased this in 2020 but I'm not sure and so this is not quite a 2021 purchase was this beauty I'm gonna come a little closer so you can see it see the crystals hey if you want to use this as an everyday bag or the occasional like you're going to the mall you just you just got it like that you want to be fly like that then knock yourself out 
This was from Neta Potier. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but I heard somebody else pronounce it and it wasn't pronounced Neta Porter, which is the actual little spelling of the word. It, it sounds like it has a French sounding pronunciation. This was by the brand was Antica Milano. What drew me to the bag is the bling. It's the Swarovski crystal. A whole lot can't fit in it, but honestly, if you're taking this bag, you're not trying to take a whole lot, right? You're not trying to take a water bottle or like a whole big wallet. I would put in this bag, um, I would put in this bag like a chapstick, a lipstick, maybe a small compact, maybe a small mirror. Um, I don't think my phone could fit in here either, so I would have my phone in my hand separately. But yeah, it's actually really cute. I love the gold hardware. I would use this, um, I would wear this like to a wedding or to some special occasion. Um, if I'm going out to a really nice restaurant with hubby, again, you know, something that I could use this there. Or you're going out with the girlfriends to like something really, really nice, a really upscale event. Uh, again, that's something that you could, and that's a place that you could use this bag. So that is about all that I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Um, these are some of my purchases from 2021, mostly, maybe one or two of them were from 2020. Um, in the description box below, please let me know which of these items is your favorite. And if you check out the Spa Mist, please let me know um, if you checked it out and let me know which fragrance was your favorite. Um, and again, let me know which of the other fragrances were your favorite. If you have not yet liked or subscribed or commented, I would love to hear from you. You can see that I'm being more intentional on social media. Those of you who know me know that I, I have not in the past been very intentional. But I want to connect more. I want to do more. I want to showcase more. I want to inspire more. Inspire you to look good, feel good, do good. And so, yeah, I hope I'm doing that. Um, I look forward to continue to do more of these videos and just showcase some more, um, some of the items on my website, ppsfash.com. I hope to showcase some more of the um, items that are purchased or that I will be purchasing intentionally in the future. Um, before I close out, let me mention this sweatshirt was from, I actually, you can see this says Chic Like Coco, like Coco Chanel. Um, number one, by Pat in, in Paris. I will link the website that I purchased this in the description box below. I purchased it a few years ago. Actually, I think it was a gift. In 2020 so it may no, may no longer be available I'm actually selling t-shirts with the same logo um, on my website so you could check that out but I will link the, um, the boutique it's a small boutique um, a minority owned boutique so I'll link it in the description box below you know show your support show your love the big box brands they get lots of love and attention already anyway show some of the smaller boutiques some love and in upcoming videos, I plan to highlight some of the smaller boutiques. I also plan to highlight some sm some small business owners. I want to talk about mental health. Obviously, that's a big deal. Um, we have all been trying to manage in these COVID times. And even though it looks like we're coming out of COVID, um, you know, we still have, there's still some adjustment to make. And so it's important that we take care of our physical health. I want to talk about a little bit about fitness as well. Um, so in addition to taking care of our, phys our physical health, we should be taking care of our mental health, we should be taking care of our financial health. Honestly, you are the healthiest and you are the best for yourself and for your loved ones when you are totally healthy, right? So health is all those aspects. And so um, that's one of the things I want to talk about on this channel. Not just fashion, not just looking good. Looking good is important, but also feeling good, doing good, those are all important. Remember, we are here but for a short time, and so in the time that we here, that we are here, in the time that God has blessed us to be here, we should be striving to do good to those within our community. I know there's a whole lot going on in the world right now, so please take care of yourself. Um, you know, show some love, spread some light, and thank you again for watching. Hopefully, this video was not too long, and I hope to see you next week. Bye.